Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. Today's video is a little different from what we normally do. Today we are going to be filming my entire perfume collection. I'm going to show you how I store them, how I organize them, and we'll just quickly be going through each perfume. Normally you see my face in my videos, but today we're just going to focus on the perfumes. So it's going to be a little bit different. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, let's start in the back here. So we have by Zara. This is my one and only Zara. This is Rose Gourmand. This fragrance smells just like Rose's Vigny. Really good dupe in my opinion, and I think it's fantastic for fall and winter. Really great performance. This is my Casablanca. Love this one. This is a good affordable gem, and this is a beast mode perfume. It smells like caramel apples. I love it. This is my one and only Bond number no. 9. This is a tester bottle, so it doesn't have a cap. I got a really, really good deal on it. I absolutely love the way it smells. It smells like banana bread, some caramel, some coffee, but it does have some floral notes in it as well. And then we have my Labelle. This is the original. This is pear and vanilla. We also have the original Scandal. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is a honey bomb, super sexy, very sexy fragrance, very loud fragrance that I like to wear on date nights. And then we also have Scandal by Night. This is like the original, but it's a little easier for people to wear, I feel like, and it has cherry in it. It kind of offsets the honey just a little bit. Up here we have Love and Crime by Exidolo. This is absolutely beautiful. This Kind of smells like Lyra, except I feel like this has some spiciness. I don't remember what causes the spiciness. I think it might be anise. Also, this smells like a spicy orange sponge cake. This is my one and only Juliet Has a Gun. This is Lust for Sun. This is the first Juliet Has a Gun that has worked for me. And this actually has really good performance on me. This is coconut, lots and lots of white florals. And I think it smells fantastic. This is La Danza, Dance of the Dragonflies, Nobly 1942. This is apple, but it's a light apple. It's like an apple turnover with some like shampooy vibes for me. And there's a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of coconut. It's so, so good. And it is one of my most worn fragrances as you can see by the dent, I sneak wears of this one in all the time, even when it's not on my tray, because I absolutely love it. And I find it easy to wear all year round. Back here we have Zadig and Voltaire. This is her. This is a creamy sandalwood. It has chestnut. I think there's some whipped cream in here. And then it has some amazing sandalwood in the dry down. Really, really good affordable gem. Here we have Intense Cafe. This is the Ristretto Intense Cafe. This is my preferred version. I don't own the original Intense Cafe. I decluttered it because this one has more coffee and I just think it smells smoother and it is delicious. I love wearing this one in the winter. Super beast mode performance. This is Chocolate Greedy. This is a chocolatey fragrance, obviously. Very realistic to chocolate, so you have to be into foodie fragrances, but I absolutely love this one in the winter time. I have two by Men's Sarah. This is Tonka Cola, pretty new to my collection. I did a full dedicated review on this one. This just is fun. This is... I get some lemon, I get some cherry, lots of cola. It's this fizzy cola vibe. I just love it. I think it's super playful and fun. And then the other one I love by Mansara is Velvet Vanilla. This is creamy tuberose and lots of sweet vanilla. You definitely have to be a fan of tuberose to enjoy this perfume, but I love tuberose. And the front here we have my love don't be shy extreme by killian this is my preferred version because this has rose in it i do like the original i have a decant of the original but i much prefer the extreme version and then we also have princess this is marshmallow delicious i absolutely love this one and it has some green tea and some ginger uh, some citruses i believe in the opening so it's a summertime gourmand for me but I love that marshmallow dry down. Angel Share, which is my absolute favorite. I love Angel Share. This is spicy, boozy, warm apple pie with some oak in the base. Okay, back here we have my Elizabeth and James. This is Nirvana Amethyst. Absolutely amazing tobacco scent. Super affordable gem. I feel like this doesn't get talked about it 
as much as it should, although some people say the performance is terrible, but I don't really struggle with it. It's not a beast, but I get okay performance from it. Okay, moving on to my Argos collection. I do have three. This one is Palace Athene. This one is rose with some other florals. There's red berries in the opening. It's absolutely delicious, super strong, really, really good performing fragrance. It is absolutely beautiful. Plus the bottles of Argos, look at these. Look how beautiful these are. I absolutely love the House of Argos. This one's my favorite. This is Triumph of Bacchus. This is the best tobacco fragrance I think I've ever smelled. This is fantastic. This has like green apple, some fruitiness. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And it is a long lasting fragrance, really good performance. I really feel like this fragrance is a masterpiece. And then this is the third one, Pour Femme. Very feminine, flowery. Easy to wear, easy reach, really beautiful. Look at this bottle. Oh, beautiful. I love this one as well. The performance on this one is moderate. It's not as strong as the other two, but still pretty decent. All right, let's talk about Parfums de Marly. So back here, this is from the men's line, but I think this is unisex. This is Herod. I love this. This is cinnamon, tobacco, and vanilla. And my husband loves this one as well. He sneaks words of this one all the time. Also, he likes Triumph of Bacchus as well. So I catch him in here getting into my hair at all the time. <laughs> also, we have Wajan, again, another unisex one. This one probably leans a little bit more masculine in my opinion, but Wajan is spiced apples in my opinion. It has a darker, like a Middle Eastern base. It's not a full-on gourmand, but the opening smells like spiced apples to me. I do have more Parfums de Marly that I want to add to my collection, but I do have Delina Exclusive. We all know about this. Creamy, yummy, rose. This is the, this is what Barbie would wear, <laughs> I feel like. Or it's possible she would wear Oriana. This is beautiful. This is marshmallow as well. This is like fruitiness. There's some berries in the opening. I think there's raspberry in here. And then the base has whipped cream and marshmallow. Oh, I love it. It's not a full on foodie gourmand though. There's a little bit of like a clean feel to the fragrance, but I love this one. And so many people say they have bad performance out of this, but I just do not ever struggle with the performance of Oriana. It works really well on me. And then there's Meliora. She is whimsical fairy tale spring in a bottle. This just reminds me of spring. It's, it smells like berries. It smells, uh, just very whimsical. There's a little touch of a green note in here. All right, I have two from Atar Collection. This is Cult at Night. Beautiful. It smells a lot like Wajan actually, but there's cherry in here. So kind of a dark Middle Eastern base with some delicious cherry and apple. Super strong fall, winter, just gem in my opinion. The other one I have by Atar Collection is Crystal Love for her. This one is delicious. This is white chocolate, I believe, or some sort of chocolate milk chocolate. It also has a lot of vanilla. So beautiful. This is also really good performance as well. All right, we have Blanche Bet, which everybody was talking about not that long ago. This one is beautiful. This is tuberose. I get the tuberose. I know there's other white florals in here, but that's what I pick up the most is tuberose and just this gorgeous, creamy, milky, lactonic feel. And then there's some musk as well, so it makes it wearable. This is a polarizing fragrance. You either love it or hate it, so don't blind buy that one. I don't really recommend blind buying any perfumes <laughs> unless you are okay with the risk of it not working out for you. And then this is Bianco Latte by Giardini di Toscana. This one got super hyped up as well, but for a very, very good reason. This is fantastic. This is delicious. I wore this the other day and I was just in gourmand heaven. It's not too thick though, so I feel like you can even wear it, you know, maybe summer nights, but this has, it smells like there's something like cinnamon in here to me, but I don't think cinnamon is listed. There's honey. Basically, this smells like a cinnamon honey cookie to me, but some people get like that latte feel. I don't. I get more of like a cookie vibe, but regardless, it's freaking delicious. Somebody made a comment that I compare a lot of perfumes to cookies, and I was like, you know what? I do. <laughs> Apparently, I have a thing for cookies, okay? All right, this is by uh, Trisardi. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Whatever. Emmanuel, too. This is hazelnut but a lot of tuberose as well. So I think this is a floral gourmand. Not everybody loves floral gourmands, so you gotta try this one first, but I think it's delicious. Uh, absolutely love that 
hazelnut Nutella vibe that's in here. I have two from Unui Nomad. This is Jardins de Mitzvah. I wore this the other day and absolutely was feeling it. So I really have been loving this one. When I first got it, I thought maybe it was just a strong like, but no, this is a love. This is rose and dates, but it's not heavy and thick. You can actually wear this all year round. All right, here we have sugar leather. This is the other one by Unui Nomad, and this is really good, but you have to love cinnamon. And you do have to love leather because the leather is in here, but it's really, really smooth. This is very holiday feeling to me. Fall, winter fragrance. Can't wait to wear that in the colder weather. And then back here we have Seta by Maresk. Look at this bottle. Isn't that the most beautiful bottle? This is an interesting fragrance. It's myrrh, ylang ylang. There's some lemon or maybe bergamot in the opening. So it has like this bright touch, but then it's kind of resinous at the same time and kind of dark. It's a really cool contrasting fragrance and it's really smooth. It's supposed to smell kind of like silk and I feel like it really does. All right, guys, we're gonna do my Chanel collection. So here we have Oh Fresh. This I have a backup bottle of. It's the only perfume in my collection I have a backup bottle of. So I found this one at a really good deal and needed to snatch it up. And I'm glad I did because this is a lifer. I'm going through this one. It's the only freshy. I don't know if it's the only freshy, but it's my favorite freshy. It has woody, like a woody dry down. So it's not just a straight up freshy, but that's a compliment getter. This is Otundra. This one is the EDP. This one is my, oh, I love this one so, so much. This is just an easy reach for me. Very like quince, fruity, musky, rose. Another Barbie perfume, I feel like. This is Coco Mademoiselle Intense. This is my favorite Coco Mademoiselle. It just has more patchouli and more vanilla, but I do own the original Coco Mademoiselle as well. Classic, iconic. I love Chanel's patchouli. It's my favorite. Uh, Coco Noir very formal, elegant, sophisticated. My husband hates this perfume though. <laughs> so I have to wear it. I, well, I don't have to wear it, but I try not to wear it around him. This one is Gabrielle, not Gabrielle. Why do I say Gabrielle? It's not a guy. Gabrielle <laughs> Essence. And this is a very pretty girl springtime white floral yellow floral it's an easy reach fragrance but it's super elegant and sophisticated at the same time okay up here we have my amouage which is funny because i used to be convinced i didn't really like the house of amouage but i tried them again and started really loving a lot this is lilac love and I actually blind bought this one. I didn't even test this one first. This one, it was a risky blind buy, but it worked out for me because it is lilac. It's very powdery. There's heliotrope and you have to be into powdery fragrances, but it also has chocolate. So there's this creamy chocolate vibe. It's such a cool, like contrasting fragrance. I really love the bottle. This is a beautiful color of purple. Purple is my favorite color. Love that fragrance, really good performance. All three of these have amazing performance. Sunshine Woman, oh my gosh, this is the newest one to my collection, love this one. But this is polarizing, some people don't like it. They say it smells like cigarette smoke or someone trying to cover up cigarette smoke. I do not get that at all. I get a light tobacco some apricots, which there's no apricots, but there's osmanthus that smells like apricots. There's almond. And then this is what I would wear if it were my wedding day. This is a beautiful bridal scent. This is creamy tuberose with whipped cream, but it's not overly strong. And it's just so beautiful. I think Amouage has really well blended fragrances. My one and only Burberry. This is Burberry, uh, Burberry Her Elixir. And this is my favorite. I didn't think I'd like this because I don't like Burberry Her, the EDP. But this is creamy. It's almost like tonic feeling. To me, it smells like a strawberry milkshake done in a perfume way, and it is just delicious. All right, I have three by Lancome. This is Soleil Cristal, and this is vanilla and coconut. Lots of coconut, lots of vanilla, really good performing perfume, and I love the bottle. I think the bottle is beautiful. And then we have... La Nuit Tresor. This one is a compliment getter. It is super sexy, good for date night. Love the bottle and it has lots and lots of fruits in it. I mostly get strawberry. It has the sexiest base. It has licorice and patchouli in the base with some like praline and lots and lots of notes, but I get lots of compliments from men on this perfume. It is sexy. And then we have Edol. This is Aura and this is if you like salt, 
if you don't like salt, stay away from this one, but this is salt, rose, vanilla. It kind of translates to smell like watermelon. Another highly complimented one, really good performance. I love wearing this one in the summer. And I realized I completely skipped over my Carolina Herrera ones on this shelf. So this is Very Good Girl. This is Lychee and Rose and Vanilla. I love this. This is my favorite flanker of the Good Girls. And then this is the newest one. This is Good Girl Blush. And this has Peony, uh, some citruses in the opening and some vanilla kind of smells similar to signature by Mont Blanc, but with more vanilla dry down. I love the peony in there. And then this one is the flanker of very good girl. This is very good girl glam. This one has glitter on the shoe. I really think that's funny, not funny, but I don't know. I like it. It makes me smile. I like glitter. But anyway, this one has added cherry and almond in it. I really enjoy it. Okay, over here we have all of my Kaolis in the corner there. And Kaoli is a house that I pretty much enjoy for the most part. There are a couple of them that don't work out for me, but I have never received anything from Kaoli and PR. I've purchased every one with my own money. And it's just a house I like in general. They usually work out for me. And I don't have performance issues like some people do, except for with this one. This is Love Fast Burning Cherry. Cherry in Palo Santo. Love the way it smells, but it doesn't last very long. I almost decluttered this one, but decided to just layer it with other cherry fragrances. This is the new Silk Santal. Love this one as well. I did a full dedicated review on this if you're interested, but I think this is beautiful. And I really like it layered with velvet. I need to get myself a full bottle of velvet because this is my favorite. This has such a beautiful sandalwood note and layering these two together is fantastic. That's my favorite way to wear the fragrances. I do have Eden Juicy Apple, but this is an empty bottle. I finished this. This is just to remind me I need to get a full size bottle because I do plan on picking up a full size. And I also plan on picking up a full size of Citrus 08 once I'm done with this. This is a unique citrus. This is, I think people are sleeping on this one. This is not just citrus. It has rose and other things going on and it's beautiful. I don't know if I'll get a bottle of Utopia. Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, I really like it, but I have very similar fragrances to it. This is white floral dominant with some coconut and I have other fragrances like it. I do really like it a lot. I don't know. This may be full bottle worthy. And then we have Musk 12, which it's a beautiful musk fragrance. Uh, this is really growing on me a lot beautiful soft musk fragrance that i like and probably will get a full bottle of once i go through yum pistachio this one surprised me i wasn't expecting to like it i thought i'd be disappointed but when i got it i fell in love it's not exactly what i thought it was going to be but i love the cotton candy dry down of this it smells so good i just love i just love this one this is currently my daughter's favorite perfume she has a full size bottle of this fragrance and she loves it. And then back here we have Vanilla 28, Vanilla and Brown Sugar. This is a classic must have staple vanilla that you can layer with literally anything. I about lost my mind with Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. When this first came out, I fell madly in love. I still love it. I don't know that I love it as much as I used to, but this is kind of a Middle Eastern jammy rose kind of smells like it has some oud in it but it doesn't have oud listed but it's like a baby beginner middle eastern scent that i ended up just falling head over heels in love with obviously it has pink pepper <laughs> it's really pretty i love this one deja vu white flower 57 i adore this fragrance this is nectarine this is white florals has a little bit of like vanilla 28 dry down love 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 the nectarine in here and i love the white florals they're not indolic so this is a great white floral for beginner scent in my opinion this is currently my favorite kaoli i believe this is vanilla royale sugar patchouli very polarizing not a safe blind but i'm trying to blind you guys here but anyway this one is beautiful you got to test it first because everybody gets something different very boozy you have to love rum in your fragrances to like that because that is the first thing you're gonna smell. <laughs> it is strong. All right, my Zerzhov collection right here. I, I just did a video ranking all my Zerzhov, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. We'll just kind of roll through these real fast. If you wanna hear more information about Zerzhov, the ones I like, the ones I don't like, watch that video. But this is my favorite Zerzhov. This is Dama Bianca. Went through a 30 mil of this, bought a 100 mil because this is a lifer. This is Kumquat, 
lime, and vanilla. One of my favorite gourmand fragrances, Italica. Definitely try before you buy, not safe. It has saffron in it, almond. Not everybody loves it. Some people say it smells like plastic or burnt plastic, but this smells gorgeous in my opinion. It has this milky note. It's delicious. You gotta try it for yourself though. This is Dolce & Melfi, beautiful juicy sweet it smells like a spicy juicy fruit gum this is bouquet ideale very woody sexy fragrance with some spices in the opening that i love this one is shun coin beautiful springtime fragrance smells like coconut and tea this is ivory root very very spicy fragrance spicy vanilla I'm pretty sure there's tobacco in there too, but nobody knows. Those are vaulted. This is Starlight, very cardamom heavy. It smells like a cardamom cookie baking. And then we have La Capitale, very sexy. It's got like oud and leather, but it's one of the only fragrances with a strong note of oud that I love because it's blended so well. And it also has strawberry and caramel in the opening, and I just freaking love it. Okay, back here we have by Giorgio Armani. This is Ocean de Gioia. This is a beautiful, freshy fragrance. Has a very refreshing aquatic pear note that I just love. Love to wear that in the summertime. This is the new My Way Parfum. This is an iris bomb. If you love iris, you need to get your nose on this. This does not smell like the original My Way. If you didn't like the original My Way, still give this one a shot. This is the original My Way, the Eau de Parfum. This is what showed me how much I love tuberose. Bubblegummy tuberose with orange blossom. Oh, I love this one. But you have to be a fan of tuberose for sure. Back here we have Nishane Ani. Spicy, polarizing fragrance. It's a spicy vanilla. It's got green notes and a lot of spices and citruses. Some people say it's masculine. That's not my experience. That's not what I get, but definitely have to try it first. Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. This is the original. We all know what Flower Bomb smells like. I don't think I have to explain it. And then this is the Flanker Flower Bomb Nectar. Love this one. It has gunpowder in the opening, which I think is super, super cool and makes it super unique. All right, Vanilla Woods. We have or this is by the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods, and this is one of my favorite vanillas. This is pear caramel vanilla. It's delicious, and as you can see by the dent, one of my most worn perfumes in my collection, Coconut Sun, and I really like this one a lot. I find this to be super refreshing when it's really, really hot. This is coconut water, so I like that. Super refreshing. Doesn't have the best performance, but it's okay because I only wear it on really, really hot days. This is Tiffany Intense, underrated gem in my opinion. This is such a professional smelling, irisy, musky. There's some pear, carrot seed. Oh, it's beautiful, love that one. And then we have by Erin, this is Hibiscus Palm. I love this one for the summer. Very tropical floral. This is a floral first and foremost. Frangipani, ylang ylang. And then there is some coconut in here as well and vanilla. I think it smells super good and luxurious for the summer. This one surprised me. This is Mediterranean Honeysuckle, and I fell in love with this one. I'm definitely getting a full-size bottle of this once I'm done with this travel spray. It's very clean smelling. Clean is not really my vibe, but this one is doing it for me. I think it smells really good. Back here we have by the House of Guerlain. This is Spiritueuse du Bleu Vigny, and I absolutely love this. This is my favorite vanilla. I talk about this one all the time. It is boozy, woody vanilla, very formal, sophisticated. This bottle is super special to me. It has my name engraved in the back, which I love. Narciso Rodriguez Musk. Noir Rose for her, beautiful, feminine. This one like broke the internet, <laughs> couldn't find it anywhere. I just love this one. I, this is like, this was like crack for me when I first got it, I couldn't put it down. It smells so good, compliment getter. Lots of beautiful musk, rose. There's a plum note in here that I love, it's so good. By the House of Tamin, Peregrina, love this one. This is rose, caramel, white floral. There's some powdery notes, uh, just absolutely beautiful feminine, great performance. Just love this one. I love the bottle too. Okay, this is painful for me. This is my 2017 Miss Dior. I really have been babying this and not wearing it because I am afraid to run out of it because it is no more. It's been reformulated and the 2021 version doesn't hold a candle to the 2017 version. This is orange and this has the best patchouli ever. 
Okay, in the back here we have Passasore by BDK. Love this one. This one is very polarizing. It's got black pepper and some quince and it's got some woodiness. Some people love it, some people hate it. I love it. Not a safe blind buy for sure. And then this is Velvet Tonka. I adore this fragrance. This smells like almonds and tonka and vanilla and ugh, I just think this smells like Easter in a bottle. Springtime in a bottle for me. I've got two by Narcotica. This is the brand new one. This is Narco Oasis. I do have a full dedicated review on this, but if you love passion fruit and tropical fruits and some brown sugar, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, if you love all that, you need to get your nose on this. This is delicious. And also Dulce Diablo. Oh my god, I love this one. This one is apricots, very boozy. You have to like boozy notes. Very boozy apricots with some chocolate. I get Tootsie Rolls and this is a beast. All right, by Mugler, we have Angel Muse. This is the Eau de Toilette. This is passion fruit and hazelnut and I freaking love this, especially in the fall. Gives me Nutella vibes with some passion fruit. <laughs> and it has kind of an earthy dry down though, so it's a really interesting fragrance. This is Alien Goddess Intense. Love this one. This is the right amount of jasmine for me. This has that alien jasmine DNA, but it's super smooth and it has coconut and it's ambery and it's beautiful. And then I have by Givenchy. This is Linter de Rouge, spicy, tuberose. The spicy note in the opening, I think there's like ginger and palmetto leaf or something like that, but it's super spicy in the opening and I love it, super sexy. And I love the color of the bottle. The original Linter D, this is the Eau de Parfum. This is very strong. This is a beast mode perfume on me. I can only spray a couple of sprays, but it is a powerhouse, just very elegant pear tuberose fragrance. I love this one. I think this smells so good, so classy. And then this is the other one by Givenchy. I just got this in my collection. This is Irresistible Eau de Parfum. This is a sweet perfume with pear. I love the pear note in here. I love the rose in here. It's very musky, very pretty girl, everyday scent, but it smells, I don't know, it just smells delicious to me. Okay, back here we have a perfume I've pretty much become obsessed with. This is Leisure in Paradise. Look at this dent. I have only had this for a few months. I've only really been wearing it in the month of July <laughs> and I can't stop wearing it. It's on my July tray and I think it is one of my favorite perfumes. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's lots of tropical fruits like papaya and pineapple, coconut, there's some vanilla. It's absolutely stunning. And then I have Malibu Party in the Bay. This is fun in a bottle. This smells like lime and coconut and you have to be a fan of lime in order to like this, but it smells so, so good. And then we have my one and only Initio, which I do wanna change that. There are other Initios I wanna add into my collection, but this is Psychedelic Love. This is a hard one to explain, but it's such a good perfume. It's got heliotrope in it and it's very well blended so it's so hard to pick out what's in here but there's sandalwood in the base and i love that i love sandalwood especially the kind that's in here it's just so good heliotrope ylang ylang and sandalwood i love this one libra intense this is so freaking good i hated this one when i first tried it i thought it smelled horrible <laughs> went back to it and fell in love with it plus i love the bottle this is lavender lots and lots of vanilla in this one and this is my favorite flanker this is a travel spray of the Le Parfum, which I really like as well, but this has like honey in it and it smells similar to the Intense, but there are differences. So I'm still trying to decide if I need a full bottle of this one or not. This is Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar, pear, musky, floral musky fragrance with some pear and it smells really good and it's super easy to wear. I can just grab and go everyday kind of fragrance. Love this one. In the back here we have by Frank Beauclay. This is Vanille. This smells like Lyra a little bit, but it has lime instead of lemon. And it's just a delicious, sweet vanilla fragrance that I really enjoy wearing. And then we also have this one, which this is, uh, I lost my mind when I tried this. This is so delicious. If you are a gourmand lover, you need to get your nose on this. This is Panettone by Milano Fragranzi. It smells exactly like the Italian dessert Panettone. And it's like a bread, like a sweet Italian bread with some fruit. And it's got orange. It kind of smells like raisins. It smells like 
sweet bread. It's delicious and makes me want to eat my own arm off every time I wear it. Guerlain, Mon Guerlain, intense, beautiful, classy, sexy, sophisticated, date night scent. And I love this. This is one of my husband's, if not my husband's favorite perfume on me. Lots of vanilla. It's got this sexy base of patchouli and licorice, which I just freaking love. Souvenirs de Tunisi by Veronique Gabay. Beautiful neroli orange blossom almond orange. C notes, really good summertime perfume. Back here we have my one and only Soradora. This is Brosilian Day. This is really the only one by Soradora that I liked. I didn't think the others were bad. They just didn't work out for me. But this is beautiful. This is really unique. It's like a gourmand. It has lime. It also has like a sesame base, which I really find unique and interesting. I really enjoy this one. Gisette Parfums Accident Olive Vanille. This is the new Creme de la Berry. Smells like strawberry Captain Crunch berries with milk. <laughs> and I freaking love it. I think it's delicious. Accident Olive Vanille. This is the original. This is vanilla and caramel and uh, I think it's delicious. It's one of my favorite vanillas in my collection. All right, Navitus Parfums. This is Ambrosia Imperial. Lost my mind when I tried this one. I got a sample of it. Love it. This is boozy banana whipped cream cinnamon caramel deliciousness with some saffron and musk, a little bit of a green note to kind of offset the sweetness so it's not too sweet and it doesn't smell too literal, fruity, gourmand. I love it. I can wear it all year round because of that musk and saffron. And then we also have Chocolate Queen, gorgeous, gorgeous chocolate fragrance. It does have some woodiness to it and some, I think, bitter almond to kind of offset all the sweet notes, which I love how she did that because it makes it wearable and not too sickening sweet. And then we have Venom of Love. This is in collaboration with Paulina Char. Gorgeous, boozy, sweet, cherry and chocolate. Smells like a cherry cordial with some booze, <laughs> basically. And I think it's delicious. I love wearing this around Christmas time. This is Paco Rabanne Olympia. This is the original. This is a sexy date night, like naughty sexy date night <laughs> for the summer. It has a lot of salt, so you have to like salt in your fragrances. It's warm, ambery, salty vanilla. And this is my one and only sense of wood. This one I had a decant of and tested first. This is plum and cognac, and this is delicious. I freaking love this. This has the best like boozy cinnamon plum Oh, I love this. I cannot wait until fall and winter to rock this because it smells so, so good. It is addicting. My two from the House of Oud, which I definitely want more of from the House of Oud. I definitely want Bon Bon Pop and Ruby Red. And this is, what about pop? This is basically salty caramel popcorn in a bottle. It's delicious, but quite literally foodie gourmand. It's fun though. I think it's a super fun fragrance. I like wearing it in the fall and winter. Another fall winter for me is Dates Delight, one of my favorite perfumes in my collection. This is dates and cinnamon and honey, but then it has like a dark base to offset it. So it's more of a semi gourmand. It's just absolutely delicious and sexy at the same time. Okay guys, we have by Afnon. This is La Fleur Bouquet, absolutely beautiful, fruity, musky floral fragrance. I love it so, so much. This smells a lot like Deja Vu White Flower 57, but a lot muskier and it's super affordable. I love the bottle, really good affordable gem. This one is the same by Afnon. This is Modest Dew, affordable gem. Smells a lot like Lana Wee Trezor, but I get a lot of raspberry and chocolate. It's definitely brighter, it's different. It's not the same. I don't find it to be too redundant. Here we have Nebras. This smells just like Billie Eilish. And I went to Ulta and smelled Billie Eilish and I was like, whoa, yep, those smell identical. <laughs> really, really good, yummy vanilla, some fruity notes in the opening. And then this is Yara by Latafa. This one is really good. I love the way that it smells, but the performance is not the best. But I think it smells really good. It's got tropical fruits, some gourmand notes, some creamy vanilla. I do think it is delicious, but I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. This one is probably my favorite from Latafa. This is Amir Al Oud, and this doesn't smell exactly like by the fireplace, but it's the same family. You know, it's the same lines. I don't like by the fireplace by replica, but this one has like a sweetness to it that I really like. And it doesn't smell quite so 
smoky to me. So this is, I just love this one. I can't wait to wear this in the fall and winter. Plus my husband loves this one as well. So I think we'll be sharing this one this fall and winter. Okay, here we have, this is by Armoff. This is, uh, it's called Futura La Femme Eau de Parfum. I don't know this one very well. I really haven't worn this much. Somebody gave this to me. I don't remember who it was, but I haven't really had a chance to test it out too much. So I'll have to keep you guys posted on that one. This is by Kim Kardashian. This is Kim Kardashian. Fantastic dupe to Gucci Bloom. Very white floral forward. This is a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. This is Lovely Cherry. Mason Alhambra. Really good dupe for Lost Cherry. This is another good dupe for Lost Cherry. This Alt Cherry Smash number 12. Both of these are pretty good. I, I like to use this to layer. Yeah, I, I would have the real Lost Cherry, but it is really bad performance on me. This is Black Opium Illicit Green. I really like this one. This is my favorite Black Opium. I like the original, but I prefer Illicit Green. It has like a fig note in it. It's a little bit fresher, a little less sweet. This is by YSL. This is Mon Paris. This is one of my favorite springtime fragrances, but I only get in the mood to wear this in the spring. It's a fruit chuli. It's got lots of fruits and a really pretty patchouli in the base. Over here, we have by Juliana's Perfumes. This is Liquid Gold. Fantastic dupe for MFK's Gentle Fluidity Gold. We have... Head Over Heels, and this is a fantastic dupe for Killian's Rolling in Love. I wear this one a lot. Look at the dent in here. I think I will purchase Head Over Heels when I'm done with that. And I do think I'll purchase Gentle Fluidity Gold when I'm done with Liquid Gold as well. This is by Azaro. This is Wanted Girl by Night. This smells like a grape Laffy Taffy. It is super delicious and fun. And over here we have by Daisy. This is or not by Daisy, <laughs> by Marc Jacobs. This is Daisy, and this is the Eau de Toilette. And I can't part ways with it. I have too many special memories with this perfume. I still really like the way it smells. This is by Sofia Vergara. This is Sofia. I still say that this is a fantastic celebrity affordable fragrance. If you're on a budget, give this one a shot. It kind of smells like Coco Mademoiselle. Not exactly. They're definitely different, but you know, it's in the same family. Okay. Over here we have Jessica Simpson Fancy. I still love this perfume. I still love this. I think this is such a sweet caramel vanilla fun fragrance. Not the best performance, but I do like to wear that one to bed. Mont Blanc Signature. This is Citrus Peony and a lot of musk. Beautiful, easy to reach fragrance. This one right here is new to my collection. I heard about this one from Chris from the Perfume Nest. This is Crumb Couture by Sniff, and this smells exactly like a literal buttery blueberry croissant and it's delicious it makes me so hungry you have to be into literal gourmands though to like that dolce and gabbana dolce garden sweet creamy frangipani uh, tropical florals delicious i love that one for the summer if you like coconut give that one a shot this is by sol de janeiro this is shirosa 62 this one is not really great performance but if i layer it with the boom boom cream i think it's really good it basically smells like the boom boom cream pistachio almond salt summertime gourmand for me even though it has like fall winter gourmand notes i love wearing that one in the summer this is by valentino this is voce viva intensa really easy reach Pretty Girl Orange Blossom Citrusy Fragrance. It does smell pretty designer, but I really like this one. I think it smells really good quality. Very safe, like church office appropriate type of fragrance. And then I also have my loved Donna Born in Roma. This is the original. And this is one of my all-time favorites. Love this one. This is sexy. It's got lots of jasmine, black currant, and a very like woody vanilla base that I love. I don't know if you can get this anymore. This is by Serendipity 3, Serendipitous, and this is delicious. I got this off Lucky Scent. This is a pretty affordable fragrance though. It wasn't super expensive, but it smells like chocolate chip cookies and orange. Delicious. Love that. I have three by the House of Dua. This is She Loves Red. This is a good dupe for BDK's Rouge Smoking. I love that one and I would own it, but I don't get great performance out of it. And then we have Dirty Banana. I'll have to keep you posted on this when I'm letting it macerate. And then this is Angelic Cherry Elixir. Again, this is one that I have to let macerate because it didn't smell super great when I first got it, but sometimes Dua needs time 
to settle. Lolita Land by Lolita Limpica. I freaking love this. This is so good. This smells like different things to different people because there's a ton of notes in here. So it is very widely interpreted, but to me, it smells like a boozy root beer float. <laughs> Ely Saab, Girl of Now Forever. This is raspberry and lemon. You do have to like zesty, zesty lemon because there's lemon peel in here but love that one for this summer. And then this is my favorite. This is Girl of Now Shine. It has pineapple in it and I love the pineapple note in here. All right, we have here, we have Beach Walk by Replica. I wear this one a lot to the beach for obvious reasons. <laughs> And then this is by Skylar. This is Boardwalk Delight. This is raspberry and cotton candy. I love to layer this one with Kaoli's Yum Pistachio. They play off the cotton candy note off of each other. This is a newer house, or not a new house, but this is a house that, it's an indie house that I just heard about. And this is Siren Song Elixirs, and this is called I Smell Children from the Hocus Pocus line. And... Yeah, I need to explore this house more. I thought that they only sold rollerballs, but I think I was wrong. I think I was just looking not in the right spot on the website. I do think they offer full-size bottles. I really want to check them out some more, but this smells like a literal cinnamon apple pie down to the crust, and I cannot wait to wear this in the fall and winter. And here we have, this is by Reminiscence. This is Heliotrope, gorgeous almond fig sweet fragrance with some heliotrope, obviously. And it is just absolutely fantastic. A very affordable gem and it smells like Easter to me, like candied almonds and fig and goodness. I just, oh, I love that one. And this is a little oil that I got from Ulta, Vanilla Musk. And I like to layer this with my vanilla perfumes. It helps the longevity, very affordable vanilla oil. Over here, we just have a lot of perfumes I'm testing. I have a lot of decants. I'm not really gonna go through these because I don't have my thoughts on all of these yet, but decants I'm testing. And then over here, we have all of my Bath & Body Works, Boom Boom Cream, Boom Dia. I've got Trader Joe's Coconut Butter. And I also have a lot of, um, this is from Soap & Glory. I like Soap and Glory lotions as well. But yeah, I like to layer lotions with perfumes a lot. That is it, you guys. That is my entire perfume collection. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.